I, I liken it very much to, there's a beautiful story, um, if you know the story of Prophet Muhammad when his calling came to Islam, the first people that came to Islam were the slaves, the poorest, the ones who were really at the bottom of society. And so they had, once they declared their faith, many of them were tortured. And so they asked him, we, we cannot, we've declared monotheism, we cannot stay in Arabia. And he said, well, he sent them to Abyssinia, to Ethiopia. And there was a Christian king there. And the Christian king received these, uh, these companions of the prophet and he said, he drew a line in the sand, and he said, the difference between my faith and yours is this line in the sand, this, this thinness that exists. It's very stark and it's very different. However, he felt the affinity. And so for many of us coming to America, I think of it as the same way. Many Muslims have left countries that, in which they can't practice um, and believe in a way that is, is, uh, is full and whole. And so... Just as I was taught, you know, that told that story again and again. Muslims first, their first, their first escape from um, hardship was into a Christian nation. So too, we feel the same way. Many of us who come here and found a haven in in a, in a very powerful and permanent permanent part of our lives. How do you feel about working with Christians for the common good of the city? I think that's a good way to put it. Uh, I agree with you that it's really around problem solving. There's a person that came to Prophet Muhammad and they said, so tell me what is, the, what is one of the best forms of Islam? And he said, to feed the poor and to give greetings to those that you don't know. And you think about it, okay, there are many different interpretations of Islam, but why would this be the one that stands out as one of the most important characteristics? So the notion of charity is really important and neighborliness is very important. Um, Prophet Muhammad talks about knowing what your neighbor is doing um, and helping them out. And if you have food to feed first your neighbor. So coming to the United States, growing up here, I, I had that strong sense. When I got married, my father went and invited all of our neighbors to my wedding. I got married and from my parents' house. And I thought, that's very strange. Why is he inviting some people he doesn't know? Because he had that sense of neighborliness. And so uh, I think as we work together in the city, we can develop relationships, and in our um, in my area of conflict resolution, we say, you know, don't start with having discussions around the most difficult things, but get to know one another, work with each other, and and continue to serve humanity in general. I, I think that's the place to start.